One, two, one, two. This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at Fight Camp Week 1. I'm delighted to be joined by Mr Chris Billum-Smith. How are you, mate? Yeah, all good, thanks, mate. All the talking's done now, so just the way in tomorrow, and then uh, it's showtime. Yeah, I mean, I think the talking was done for me uh, a while ago, but he, he, he likes to keep talking, so yeah, no, it's, uh, we're here now, we're two days away, so I'm excited. What was your summary of the, the press conference? Tommy had a, a little bit to say in that. Yeah, it was. I think it's been the, the same. The whole build-up, really, it's just uh, that one tweet I sent has really got under his skin, and he's, uh, you know, he's he's just kept talking throughout and keeps saying things and trying to come up with new ways to try and get under my skin by the looks of things. But uh, you know, it's, it is what it is, and it's one of those uh, one of those things where it's just he's trying to talk it, talk himself up. I just want to pick up on a couple of the points that he made uh, in that press conference. The first one being about kind of where you fought in your career compared to him. Um, you could possibly concede that to a certain degree uh, in terms of level of opponents, or do you not agree with that? Um, he might have boxed more at the level we've both boxed at. I can't see, you know, he's boxed, boxed at British level with like Matty Askin and Riyadh Poor, but a Beyond that, not really. Bilal Lagoon would get beat by Riakpo. I think everyone he's beat would get beat by, I, I'd beat. Um, Matty Askin, you know, and, and Riakpo are probably the best two names on his record and they've both, both beaten him. So for me, we've both boxed at a similar level. Um, he might have had more fights at that level um, and his best win is probably maybe Turchi over in Italy, but he's... He only ever boxes in Italy anyway, Turchi, and he, he's he's limited, I believe. Um, but nonetheless, it was a good one. But how do you rate him overall as a fighter? Do you actually rate him? Yeah, I think he's got good boxing ability. I've always said that. He's got uh, he like he likes to box. Um, he's got fairly heavy hands. I think um, you know he punches quite loose. But yeah, I, I rate him. But I just think I've got so many more, so much more to my game, and his weaknesses are the areas where I'm, I'm strongest. So. Um, I think it says once I get into that 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 position to, to use my strengths, um, it's like I said, he's weak in those areas, so uh, it will benefit me. Just uh, want to get your response to so comments that he made to me yesterday. And he's kind of touched on it in the press conference. There, he said that he didn't. He believed that your team had kind of pushed you into the fight. Well, I uh, I asked for the fight a year ago here at fight camp uh, when I after I beat Nathan Forley up we wanted the fight and he didn't want it um, he didn't even want it until the fight week of his last fight because I'd asked I, I tweeted him that tweet saying I punch holes in him and that got his back up so that works a treat um, but yeah I, I've I've always wanted this fight um, and I've always thought that I, I'd stop him in the mid to late rounds and that's that's me my, my, my team agree with me we were on the same wavelength um, which is a good thing um, and yeah, and that, that, that's that's all I can say on that really. Well, uh, it's going to prove to be an interesting night on Saturday. It's a shame, obviously, Conor Ben's fight with Granados is not taking place. But as Eddie Hearn said, the show goes on, and this seems to be, even regardless of Conor Ben's fight, it seems to be the best fight on the card for me. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are saying that. A lot of uh, a lot of people are speaking about it being the best fight, and. I think because you've got three belts on the line, you've got a bit of talk and, uh, you know, two British lads on it, then uh, it's always going to be an exciting fight. And, uh, yeah, I, I can't wait for it. And I, I love to, you know, I, I always seem to entertain the fans and, that, and that's what I'll be hoping to do on, on Saturday night. Chris, appreciate your time. We'll look forward to it. Um, yeah, like I said, hopefully the, the rain holds out here as well. It's a bit windy here today, but uh, best of luck. And, yeah, we'll look forward to Saturday night live on the zone. unless you're one of the 250 to 300 people that's here. Yeah. That'd be a bit weird. It's a crowd, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I've got a couple of people coming, so it should be good fun. What, 750 a ticket? Yeah, well, I had to buy it to buy some out of my own purse um, because I only got given a couple and I had to get my whole family in. So I had to, I had to buy a couple of tickets as well to, just to get my family in. All right, wish you the best of luck and, uh, yeah, we'll speak to you at some point before the fight or after the fight. Thank you, mate. Nice one. Cheers, Cooks.